Nolan Bushnell, one of the founding fathers of the video game industry, talks about the early days of gaming, starting Atari, the Pong controversy, and what it takes to be a true innovator. My name is uh, Nolan Bushnell, and I am a uh, serial entrepreneur. I uh, started a company called Atari many years ago. Discover Atari. Atari! And discover how far you can go. My version of, of history is, uh, is we sort of stand on each other's shoulders and there's um, Willie Higginbotham is the guy that I think really started the, the ball rolling with the National Labs. And he did one, a game, a ping pong game on a, on a oscilloscope. Started for me at the University of Utah in the computer lab, and I saw a game that was programmed by uh, uh, Steve Russell from MIT called Space War, and I was mesmerized by it, and uh, and it was just something that I couldn't get enough of. And then I graduated and sort of went off to make a living. I did a, com a game called Computer Space and licensed it to a company. This was in 1970. And it uh, was medium successful. I mean, it made a couple of million bucks. And, and it gave me a big enough royalty stream that I was able to start what, was, what became Atari. The name of the company was Syzygy at the time. People couldn't say it or spell it. Uh, so we changed the name. We were working on a driving game and uh, I hired a new engineer and uh, who's Al Alicorn who in some ways is the father of Pong uh, as a research project to get him up to speed and the technology turned out the game we did was very fun and, uh, and as we say the, the rest is history. Simply more fun and games. We went forward uh, we did Pong and various video games for the arcade business. We decided to go into the home market. And that was the first time that, that the Odyssey game became an irritant to us. And the irritant was that because the Odyssey game laid such a big egg, when we went to market a home Pong, we couldn't get distribution. Now you can play most all the video games you'd ever want to play. Introducing the Sears Cartridge Telegame System. Over we finally got distribution through Sears and everything was pretty happy. And then all of a sudden, we get this lawsuit um, from Magnavox saying that we're infringing your patents. And I looked at him and I thought, you know, this is a bunch of hooey because my technology was patented as well. I used none of Ralph Bear's technology. I had no concern about, you know, any kind of a patent issue ever coming down, so I was willing to fight it to the death and, and do everything. Magnavox, as it got closer and closer, got more and more nervous because, you know, they saw what, you know, I showed them my lab books, I, I showed them what, you know, Steve Russell had done and various other things, and they started getting very, very nervous. And, but they were too far in to back out, and so they said, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll give you a paid up license and you don't have to pay us very much money, but it has to be something that looks okay. And we calculated that we would spend about $350,000, maybe $400,000 to litigate the patent. And I just had better things to do with my time. And so I got a uh, paid up license for $100,000 a year for seven years. And if you do the math, I got licensed you know, Atari got licensed for 0.002% of sales. My blessing has been that I have a worldview that is very different. I think about things differently. And I think I solve things in unique ways. And I think that I have enough self-confidence to pursue true innovation. <laughs>